All right, let's take you outside right now. For the first time in two years, a cruise ship is anchored off the coast of Santa Barbara. It is called the Majestic Princess, and we're going to have more on its arrival with our very own John Palminteri later on in the show. All right, let's turn things over to Anna Gavin now in the First Alert Weather Center. And all those people coming off the ship today are going to get some nice weather in Santa Barbara. Yeah, they really are. And if you do want to take another look at this ship, this is our view from our Yacht Club camera, which is a little shaky at the moment because of all the wind we're seeing on the south coast. So definitely that wind sticking around through a good portion of our day, but it's giving nice warm temperatures for not just our visitors, everyone who lives here too. Right now, temperatures for the interior in the 50s, south coast 60s to low 70s at the moment, still seeing 60s though across the central coast. So a lot of these areas, at least in the southern portion, are definitely warmer from this time yesterday. This gap is going to close a little bit as we get to our high temperatures in the afternoon, which are also looking good, mainly upper 60s to mid 70s, even some low 80s in our most wind prone areas. So more on that coming up in my full weather forecast. All right, we mentioned it just a moment ago. I want to give you another live look at the majestic princess in Santa Barbara. It arrived overnight and our senior reporter John Palminteri knows all about these cruise ships. <laughs> He's joining us live on the land with more on this. Hi, John. Yeah, we just uh, are just enjoying the sun and the beauty and a little bit of the breeze that you guys are talking about today as the majestic princess arrived just before dawn this morning in the waters off of Santa Barbara. And for many people, they couldn't believe it. It's the first time in two years that we've had a cruise ship here due to the COVID pandemic. And, you know, it was really cruise ships, wasn't it, where we started learning a lot about uh, the coronavirus and that caused, you know, the world pandemic. But now, as you see, it is docked offshore in Santa Barbara. There isn't a deep water port here, as you know. It looks like it in the shot, maybe, that it's right there next to the breakwater wall, but it's really out a ways. They have some really strict protocols on the arrival, the location, uh, even the dumping of waste and all that uh, has to follow some very strict rules. Right in the foreground of the shot, you see what is called a tender. It brings the people in from the cruise ship. Uh, there's several of those going back and forth, and they drop them off at the new Santa Barbara Landing, formerly Sea Landing. And then they come ashore as we took, take a look to the right here, and they have some pop-up tents, Homeland Security, Santa Barbara Police Department, uh, other representatives of the waterfront are here too. The Tourism and Visitor Center down there with all kinds of brochures and maps. Some people here are walking with their maps. And earlier today, there were tour buses and uh, some other ground transportation. There's some signs there to the right for excursions and people line up, whether they go to the old mission and historical tour to the Montecito uh, historical tour to the Solvang tour and other locations. And then they come back here and the cruise ship will leave later on tonight. There will be 17 cruise ships in the spring. They'll take a break for the summer. More coming in the fall. I believe about 30 for the year. It's considered a big economic boost for the city with this one day drop of about 2,000 people going on tours, shopping, buying some wine and enjoying the funk zone downtown and the San Inez Valley. And for the waterfront, they get a certain uh, amount of money for each passenger that's on that ship. So it bolsters their department as well. Santa Barbara's back on the cruise ship schedule this morning with the Majestic Princess, and they're on for the spring. Reporting live along the waterfront this morning, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. All right, John, thank you so much. It looks like a lot of fun. Pretty nice day for all those people out there. All right, still ahead on Midday, she's a local chef who's been in Poland helping to feed refugees. You'll hear from her and how she got involved in the great work of World Central Kitchen next. Plus, he's up for Oscar gold, and he was just honored at the Santa Barbara National Film Festival. Now he's kind of playing.